I'm Elizabeth Lipke, and I work in the Department of Chemical Engineering at Auburn University. And my research group is investigating how cells and materials interact, and how that interaction can guide stem cells into becoming cardiomyocytes, which are the contracting cells in the heart. And we're really interested in that for a couple of reasons. One is that obviously we'd like to be able to repair the heart after somebody's heart is damaged by a myocardial infarct, by a heart attack, or in the case of congenital heart defects when a baby is born that has a hole in their heart. And we're also very interested in creating heart tissue outside of the body in a dish, in a lab, so that we can better understand the human heart, better understand how the human heart contracts and how the cells in the human heart interact. And to do that, we really need to be able to make mature cardiomyocytes, mature contracting heart cells. And so my group studies something called electrophysiology, which is the electrical connections between these cells, and how we can deliver things using materials to make those cells go from being you know, immature cells like you would find in the heart of a baby to mature cells like you'd find in an adult's heart. We recently received a National Science Foundation Award called the Career Award for our research, and that is funding the work of some of my undergraduate researchers, my graduate student researchers, to look at how cells and materials interact, and also to help us tell other people about the research that we're doing in the lab. And so we do a lot of outreach to students in grades four, five, and six, and even younger, and sometimes even four-year-olds, all the way up through some high school students that come into the lab to do research and helping them learn about what it takes to keep their heart healthy, as well as how engineers are involved in the process of understanding their heart and potentially in the future repairing the heart tissue.